What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Huawei Nova 9, Motorola Moto Edge 20 and Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. All of these devices, they are powered by the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 CPU, they got the same GPU, 8GB RAM, 128GB storage and all of them are running on Android 11. So we are going to see that how much difference we are going to get in terms of benchmarking test score result between these three smartphones. So here we go. So the benchmarking application we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 5 and the 3D Mark. We have already performed all of these tests to save your time and we are just going to have a quick look on the test score result. So first of all, let's start with the Antutu Benchmarking. So Huawei Nova 9 scored. 521,201 Moto H20 scored 525,377 and Xiaomi 11 Lite 5 GNE scored 514,092. So the winner is Moto H20, then it's Huawei Nova 9, and then Xiaomi 11 Lite 5 GNE. If you go to the individual test score result, here you can have a look on the CPU, GPU, memory, and UX. So in CPU and memory, performance of Nova 9 is better. In GPU and UX, performance of Moto Edge 20 is better. And Mi 11 Lite is scoring better points compared to... And Mi 11 Lite is scoring more points compared to Moto Edge 20 in memory and more points in UX compared to Huawei Nova 9. But our main concern is the overall score and in that the winner is Moto H20, then Huawei Nova 9, and after that is Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. Now let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the next test, and that's going to be the 3D Mark. This is a gaming benchmarking test, so it gives the idea about the gaming capability of the device. So here there are multiple tests, and we have performed Wildlife Extreme and Wildlife. Huawei Nova 9 scored 693 in Wildlife Extreme and 2476 in Wildlife. Moto S20 scored 694 in Wildlife Extreme and 2495 in Wildlife. And Xiaomi 11 Lite 5 GNA scored 693 in Wildlife Extreme and 2494 in Wildlife. So as you can see that both Huawei Nova 9 and Xiaomi 11 Lite 5 GNE scored same points in Wildlife Extreme. Moto S20 scored just one point more in Wildlife Extreme compared to these two smartphones. When it comes to wildlife, the difference between Moto S20 and Xiaomi 11 Lite 5 GNE is just one point once again. But Huawei Nova 9 scores a bit less compared to these two smartphones in wildlife. So once again, at the first position, it's Moto H20. After that, it is Mi 11 Lite 5G NE this time, and then Huawei Nova 9 at the third spot. And now let's have a look on the last test for today, and that's the Geekbench 5. So this test is divided in two parts, single core and multi-core. So Huawei Nova 9 scored 784 in single core, 2882 in multi-core. Moto H20 scored 700. 63 in single core, 2777 in multi core. Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE scored 788 in single core and 2991 in multi core. So this time the winner is Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. After that it is Huawei Nova 9 and this time at the third spot it is Motorola Moto Edge 20. So as you can get the idea that all of these smartphones, they are pretty capable device and pretty much same to each other because they got the same CPU, same GPU, same amount of RAM, storage, software version is same as well. And because of that, each of them are giving tough competition to each other. So for example, in Android Benchmark, the winner was Moto H20. In Geekbench 5, the winner is Mi 11 Lite 5 GNE. And once again, in 3D Mark, the performance of Moto H20 was slightly better compared to the other two devices. But the difference is very minute every single time. So it does not matter which device you are going to buy, you will be happy with the performance for sure because all of them will be pretty much same in daily usage. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.